Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to another Let's Play. We've got something different today, not Minecraft. I'm just going to move my mouse cursor out of the way, we don't want to see that. This is Reseteer, an item shop's tale. It is a Steam game, so you can get hold of it pretty easily if you want to play it, guys. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is an RPG. This is not something I've done on my channel before. And um, it's a pretty cute one as well. It's got nice little sounds and things. I've already kind of fiddled with the keys a bit to get it how I like. And um, because it's an RPG, there's quite a lot of talking that happens in it so I've got my little cup of tea in front of me we might as well just uh, get started and I'll tell you some facts about the game as we go Let's see if I can remember what keys are what oh look at the little disc it's so retro now <laughs> I remember having PC games with discs like Final Fantasy 8 oh here we go it's cute music and they speak Japanese sort of Okay, I'm going to try and do voices, so we'll see how this goes. Um, Tear is just going to be my voice, so... Oh, for the love of, she is still asleep. I wonder who this could be. Sigh. Does she really not understand how imp important today is? This is why I need my tea. Marple, can't eat another bite. This is a reset, apparently. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Hmm, I think we have something in common. <laughs> Dot dot dot. <laughs> Wake up, please. Reset. Where, where, what's it? I don't think she's forgotten how to speak English. <laughs> good morning. We don't have time for good morning, Reset. Wow, harsh tear. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life doing them sweets? That might be her day plan. Today is the day we have set for opening the store. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did? Oh, yeah, we did! For a set, you obviously need to start keeping... Oh, my God, she swore! That's a swear word, kids! <laughs> Don't go around saying that! <laughs> or the... Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. What a rude fairy. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, so we own a shop. I'll be right down. Can't figure out what language I'm supposed to be speaking. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the kind of RPG part of it. Oh, hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tia, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism, ho! <laughs> Some mixed messages I'm getting from this game. <laughs> Patience reset. It is a virtue you will need. It's not one I hold. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Oh, here we go. Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything in it is going to sell... And without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Well, <laughs> logic. Mr. Spock over here. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell apart from my body. Uh, so uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, then we, can claim we can't claim too much of a shop. Such a negative person, Tyr. That's true. Hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? The black market. The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. And we need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that would probably be our first stop. Don't tell me how to live my life. Ooh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? <laughs> wow, complimentary reset. <laughs> the guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants. So if we stop there, there we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grow... I don't know what that's supposed to have said. Give out our polite regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organisation that allows us to operate here in the first place. Well, I'm sensing there's kind of like a mafia thing going on here. <laughs> Got it, let's go there right now. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door, currently located in the upper right hand corner of the shop. Thanks, Tear. Oh, but I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. I like you, Reset. I like you already. <laughs> to eternity and <laughs> Reset. Hi. Okay. Alright then. Is she actually a fairy? She's like a little kind of thing. Okay, so we've got the movements pretty easy. It's just like all these buttons. I'm gonna go here. Okay, maybe not. I wonder if I could actually jump through the window. Probably not. I don't think there's a jump button. I think you just like have to go through the door. Okay, uh, enter. Okay, right, so... Ah, uh, okay, so the Merchant's Guild is highlighted. I quite fancy going to the pub, though. <laughs> Should probably behave ourselves and like go to the place we're supposed to go. Now, um, 
few little facts about the game before we head to the Merchant Skilled guys. Apparently, reset, uh, Resetia is like a pun on the word Racketeer, which I actually admittedly didn't know what that meant, so I had to look it up on Wikipedia, and it's to do with like illegal selling of like illegal selling of things that people don't need like such as like for example uh selling protection to people that you would just beat up anyway like if they didn't pay you so racketeering not all that great <laughs> so that kind of adds a little bit of a dark undertone to this game so let's see what happens oh, press, always press enter I should be pressing a z that's like my enter button hello I'm still speaking japanese Ah, a girl and a fairy. You two are. Yes, you're a set and that lone shark. Oh dear. <laughs> well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. Oh my goodness, Tear. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a lone shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. I'm sensing, Reset, that you might be a little bit naive. Ah, forgive me, forgive me. Partner it is. Oh, I should be doing a deep voice for him. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along quite well thank you in fact we plan an opening today so we stopped by in order to show our gratitude for your help ha ah, very good you two know what's what i should think so if you have any problems let me know i'd be glad to help we appreciate your kindness or oh, doing a deep voice for her we appreciate your kindness thank you <laughs> uh we appreciate your kindness thank you very much i reset <laughs> not a problem at all now let's buy some stuff so, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? That's right. Well, up to the counter then. Let's get you so sorted. I don't even know what she just said then. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not completely overboard. Don't tell me how to live my life. I recommend purchasing no more than ten items. K.O. What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, oh, he, he talked really fast then. Uh, okay, so I don't think we have anything to sell. I don't fancy talking to him that much, but we're gonna we're gonna buy some stuff. So if we could, right up in the corner, it says we have um, a thousand picks, like whatever that that's like the money that we have in this. And um, there's like various items that we can get. Uh, they're expensive these things. So what I figure we should probably do is get a bunch of cheap things and maybe like one or two. Like, ooh, that's like clothes and all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, a couple of cheap things and kind of like one or two more expensive things. So I'm thinking expensive things. Since this is like an adventure game, let's get ourselves a... Oh, we can't even like... Oh, yeah, no, we can't really. Just thinking of like <laughs> how-to maths. Okay, so let's have ourselves a sword. Yep, I want a wooden sword. Okay. Um, could have a dagger see what's the kind of cheaper stuff okay let's have a leather glove then we could probably get closer to like kind of 10 things okay it's kind of expensive what is this a simple breastplate made with thrown together okay it's not exactly a i think that's meant to be like an armor but the first thing i thought of was like a bra so it's not really adequate protection ladies get something better let's have a stylish armband why not Okay, uh, wooden shield's pretty expensive. Uh, okay, let's get a few more wooden swords. I have two of them. Okay. Let's have a rusty... Oh no, don't have enough. Okay, we'll have one of these. Okay, that's all the money we have left. So we go back by pressing that. Okay, by pressing X. Okay, let's leave. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Right then, will that be all? Yes, it will. <laughs> yep, this is perfect. We shall return again when our stock runs low. Haha, -ha, I'm looking forward to it. I bet you are. Here, a little something extra as a startup gift. Oh, how generous. <laughs> a piece of walnut bread. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> how old? How even old is research? She's like, she's like she's about 12. <laughs> all right, little lady, give him your all. Capitalism, oh. I can't believe she says that. <laughs> well, Adam Smith would be, I don't even know who that is, would be proud of us at any rate. <laughs> this, this game is so bizarre. Right, okay. Let's go for reseteering. Woohoo! Capitalism, ho. Oh. I like, uh, my Japanese is too rudimentary for this game. Very well, it is time to give you a crash course on the basics of running. Press the right button. An item shop. 
Okay, what do I do first? We have to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get near these counters. Yes, reset. <laughs> just so. Once you know where to, you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. I think that's meant to be said. Primary button? Breaking the fourth wall. You will understand when you try it. Trust me. Tear, you are kind of creeping me out. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Right. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we purchased on one of those counters? Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing the window items are going to be kind of like prime. Can we go to that? Okay, let's do these ones first. Okay. Okay, let's, do, let's put the clothes here. Uh-huh. May I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window. <laughs> She's going to tell me that, like, my choices was terrible. <laughs> Your life decisions are terrible. Items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. Yes. As such, putting eye-catching items, the thought thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects the interests of our business. I think she'd probably say this no matter what you put there. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Why do you own a shop, Reset? <laughs> okay, I'll be careful. Uh, well, we don't have anything, like, decent. It's all, like, rubbish. Okay, well, we're just going to go with my original plan of clothes. Clothes items. Uh, wooden armband. Okay, and let's have the wooden sword there, and then over here we'll put the other wooden sword. The other wooden sword. Let's focus staff. What, other, uh, what else have we got? Oh, that's it, just bread. Right, let's let's put the bread here. A rubbish piece of bread. All right, that should do for us play, uh, displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? It looks pretty don't dumb, Reset. It don't, yeah, it, it's gonna be awful. We don't have much money. <laughs> Do not worry, everything looks good enough for a first attempt. <laughs> now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. Righto, or we get to sit behind the counter. Oh yeah, she's running, she's excited. Oh god, this is gonna be really intense, I just know it. 